I thought I knew Yiddish because we spoke it at home. So I married very young. And uh, when I was 19, a friend called me up and said that uh, there's an ad in the New York Times for someone who knows Yiddish. And I thought I was qualified. And my husband, Feivel, was going to school under the GI Bill of Rights at that time. So I went for the interview, and I was interviewed by Gedalia Sandler, who was with the Jewish People's Fraternal Order of the IWO. Now, my parents had left-leaning uh, interests. My father was never political, but his social life was with the Yiddish intelligentsia, and he uh, was surrounded by uh, Yiddish writers of the left. And uh, when I went for the interview, Gedalia asked me, do you know Yiddish shorthand and typing? And I had never heard of it. So I said no, and he said, sorry, we need somebody with those skills. But a few days later, he called up and he said, we can't find anybody with those skills. Would you like to go to school? And we will pay for it. So that was in 1946. And they sent me to a class which was taught by Jeanette Balin. And uh, she taught shorthand and typing. And her father was a Yiddish writer. And in that uh, Jewish People's Fraternal Order, they had a section for their shulas. And uh, they had uh, different people in charge of uh, various departments. But my job was to take dictation from the Yiddish writers. So Reuven Zaltzman was the head of it, and he dictated to me. And of course, Itchy Goldberg was head of the Shulas, and uh, uh, David Davidovich was the, uh, also one of the heads of the Shulas. And then there was somebody named Reuven Yukelson. And uh, the only trouble was, I soon discovered that I did not know grammar. And with these men, if you didn't uh, know that a prepositional phrase gets a different kind of ending, and so do all the modifiers, you had to retype the whole thing. And there was no such thing as whiteout. And if you were doing what they called a stencil, uh, you would have to redo the whole stencil. So I very soon, for my own purpose of, of Breut mit Putter, had to learn the grammar. And I learned a great deal of grammar. And uh, when I was in Itchy's office, everybody was a left winger, but it, it sort of rolled off my back. Uh, I was more interested in the Yiddish. And the same was true of my father. And my father wrote for the Freiheit because all his friends were there. But when the news came out in 1952 that the Yiddish writers had, were missing, they didn't know they had been murdered on August 12th. Uh, he went to Novick. Paul Novick was editor of the uh, Freiheit at that time. And he banged on his desk and he said, where are those writers? And Novick didn't answer him. So he left the Schiller movement. He had become eventually a Schiller teacher in the Mittelschule and he moved to the workman's circle.